G'day guys, Aussie FIFA HD and welcome back to yet another episode of my skill move tutorial series where I show you how, where and when to perform a skill move in FIFA 21. Today we're learning the fake drag back, a 5 star skill move that, you know, I would say it's quite advanced but once you get it down pat it's quite a useful skill move to use in your attacking arsenal. So without further ado let's get into the intro and then I'm going to teach you guys how to use the fake drag back in FIFA 21. Griezmann, three men around him, but somehow finds some space. Ronaldo, fantastic, opening the drag back. Ronaldo on the ball, he's made himself this just the control. tiniest the control control right. display there is absolutely ridiculous. The Elastico on the goal line, on the goal line, the finest of We talked about Aussie FIFA, he's not here to make up the numbers. Perform the fake drag back. It's quite a, let's say, advanced skill move. Um, it's going to take some practice, guys. So get in the practice arena and get your angles right. But I'm basically going to explain to you that to perform it, what you need to do is learn how to do a drag back, but then you will need to flick either side, so 90 degrees or 270 degrees, to where the player is faking, facing once and twice, and essentially they'll do the fake drag back. Now, if I'm going to go from start to finish, the way you need to perform it is hold down L1 and uh, R1 on the PS4. You will then need to use the left analog stick and drag back 180 degrees to where the player is facing. Okay, that's the normal drag back. But as they're doing the normal drag back, mid drag back that is, you then need to flick once left, once to, uh, right to where the player is facing. So if we're talking from a degree perspective, that would be 90 and 270 degrees. So you need to flick once uh, to the 90 degrees angle or once 270 degrees angle. It depends what, what um, you know uh, side you want to edge it out to. And essentially, the player will perform the fake drag back. Now, this may take practice. Now, I have figured out also that if you're struggling to execute this skill move, I flick left right quite a few times, not just once and left, le not just right and left. I do it really quickly a few times, so it registers a bit better. It's hard to perform, um, especially getting it to register, I have found that quite hard to do. So I found that flicking it really fast will essentially allow you to perform it. Now, as you're seeing from the, you know, your screen, I'm basically dragging it back, I'm holding down R1, I'm holding down L1. I'm then dragging him back 180 degrees, or 6 o'clock if you want to think of it from that perspective. And when they're mid-drag back, that's when I'm flicking left-right really quickly, but a few times. I'm not just doing it once either side, I'm doing it quite a few times for it to register. Okay. Now depending on which way you flicked first will depend on which, which direction the player will edge it out with the fake drag back. Okay, so lads, you're gonna have to practice this. Go into the practice arena um, and try and get it down pat. Okay, go into attacking scenarios, which is in the skill games area, and get a five star skiller and practice your angles and practice flicking after you're, you know, you've done or you're mid midway through that drag back. Practice flicking either side. Um, and yeah, you'll eventually get it. It just do does take a little bit of practice. But once you've got it down pat, that's when it becomes useful, and that's what I'm going to teach you guys in the next segment. Moving into where you need to perform the fake drag back. I have personally found the best place is just outside the 18 yard bots and in the 18 yard bots. And the reason why is because you're able to change direction very quickly, and your player, your opponent doesn't realize what's going on. He just thinks that you're doing a normal drag back, so you're going to face the opposite direction. No, you hit him with the fake drag back, it'll do a bit of elastico type thing, and then it'll, uh, the player will go off into a, like a 90 degree slash 270 degree angle, and it's a change of angle. And basically, you're able to get that shot off. So, um, the best thing about it is your opponent thinks that you're essentially, you know, dragging it back, but you're not. When you're in the bots and you're outside the 18 yard bots, you can use it to get that angle. But I don't want to go too much into that because the next segment is about that. But essentially, the best place for you to use this is inside the bots and just outside the 18 yard bots. But without further ado, let's get into when you should use the fake drag. Moving into when you need to perform 
the fake drag back. The best time is when you need to get that shot off, but you have a defender blocking you, and you need to get another angle for you to make a finesse or even make a power shot far post. Blocks are very overpowered this year, as you guys would know. So essentially, uh, the thing that we need to look at doing is getting that angle so we can get past the defender and make a shot. The fake drag back is very good for that. You can drag it back 180 degrees and then feint the defender and go into an opposite direction so that you can essentially make the shot. It's very good for changing that angle. And when you want to change that angle to try and make that shot, it's a very good skill move for doing so. Is it a good skill move for beating defenders? No. Is it a good skill move for getting a different angle to make a shot? Absolutely, and that's when you should use it, okay? Because it's very good for getting that angle to make a different shot, or getting a different angle to make that shot. And yeah, essentially I found it's very good for that. And it's a fancy skill move too. If you wanna be a skiller, this you should implement because, you know, it's fancy and it looks good if it's paid off. But that will soon at the end of the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's quite hard to perform, but once you get it down pat, you should be able to benefit from how useful it is in FIFA 21. Hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and follow me on Twitter, links in the description down below. I post over there when I've uploaded a new episode for you guys. So be sure to go and follow me over there. But without further ado, that's going to signal the end of the episode. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day, guys. I'm out, and peace.